I mean, do, do your homework on it. Read up about it. Don't take my word for none of this. To put this engine together without any sealant on this head gasket, it's, um, uh, you know, I don't know what the word would be before that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words to describe to put a head gasket on an engine without some kind of sealant. It just, uh, <laughs> really, I ain't said nothing, have I? Do your homework. Now, where's that gasket sealer at? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and not to leave you with that, I do put the old-time brown Permatex gasket sealer on both sides of the gasket. You know, I, 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 when I put an engine together, now this is just me. When I put this engine together, I do not expect for anyone be required to take this engine apart without some kind of damage to the engine such as a part got broke um, I'm going to do a valve job I'm going to set it back as good as I can set it back so that valve job should last many 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 years the um, uh, just they're just well, they, they won't be any any reason to disassemble this engine for years to come so that by that reason if I put sealer on here then I have got an airtight situation I don't never have to worry about a water leak uh, and this and this right here if I do yeah let me show you something the reason that that needs to be a pretty good fit right there is when that head goes on this is the cylinder when that head goes on this engine that's that's where it will be at this this will be in the block and this goes on here okay what happens is you, you need that sealer right around there because that this gasket right here when you get it all bolted together, it will be right there. So, the, the mating surfaces, when you put that on there, that sticks down, that, 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 this part goes down in the cylinder sleeve just a small amount. The, the water will be in the hopper, and there is no O-ring or gasket that goes here. The, the, the part that seals that cylinder is is that little that little half an inch right there is what seals the water from the piston area that's the way it works put a little sealer on there you'll be well rewarded for your efforts to cut a gasket the, the easy way to do that is you put the piece of material, and I can get two out of this. Uh, I can get a gasket here, and I can get a gasket there with this much left. I can't get three, but I can get two. And the way to do that without any marks or uh, <laughs> any stress, without any stress, is this the the edge right here uh, w one of those edge, two of those edges needs to needs to overlap just ever so much to where you want the gasket to be okay and that looks good enough without going to any any more uh, without stressing ourselves out
Now on the spark plug model, you've got you've got a gap right there where the uh, spark plug is at. So what you, when you cut that out, all you do is pick it up, bring it around, line that up, and then. Now we've got a perfect, that is a good of a fitting fit right there. I mean, it's, it's, it's made to fit. The gasket is, uh, right there we have coverage here. We have coverage up there. The next part is to bolt hole. Bolt hole. Bolt hole. Now, if you are one of them, well, a person that just has to have a round gasket, then what you can do is to pick this up. Take a pencil and scribe the outside of the gasket. Scribe it all the way around. You would just take the scissors and cut that out, and you've got a round gasket. It's, uh, you know, you do the math. Now, let's get on to something else now. Snipped it right out. The well, what, what comment was, was uh, the, 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 the flex hone... What size, what size flex hone to use? And yes, you do want, you do use a flex hone that is a little bit larger than the bore you are cleaning up. Uh, they do have, a, they do have a website. Just you know, look them up, uh, and it gives you all of the uh, specifics about them. It's a good, 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 good item. And the other, one of the other questions was uh, about a bent flywheel on one of these McCormick Deerings. And if you have a bent flywheel, then uh, let's just say you have a pretty good uh, yard ornament. They're just pretty much impossible to straighten, straighten a McCormick Deering flywheel. And even flywheels in general that has any damage whatsoever should not be used in a public setting. You know, if you're going to use it there in your own shop, you know, you're good to go with whatever you want to do. But just the inherent dangers of a cast iron flywheel that has been repaired, it's... Um, you know, it's iffy at best. That's not to say that, that, that it can be done with success, but it's a little bit beyond the backyard mechanic to do that. Now, I just, uh, you know, look it up. Just uh, my, my advice, my, my comment back to would be on a McCormick Deering, the availability of flywheels. If you have one that is damaged in any way, just buy you another flywheel and put on there and be done with it. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's an easy way to fix a problem that should not be dealt with. Okay, let's get on to that uh, side cover now. From here on the east coast of Arkansas, shop dog sound. <laughs> 